Let's talk about the key to getting results. Look, we all have goals. We all set goals. And as August is coming to an end and with fall and the holidays coming around, a lot of us are setting health and fitness goals and putting them front and center. Maybe the goal is to lose 20 pounds or drop a couple of dress sizes. Maybe it's something as simple as to eat healthier. We all have goals. You know the drill. And those are all great things, but those are just outcomes. More specifically, we're all very good at making outcome goals. What are outcome goals? Those describe how we want things to be at the end of the process. And that's fine and dandy, but most of us stop there and put all our focus on the outcome. The key is to not stop there. Instead, we need to create and focus on behavior goals. You see, we can't really control the outcomes. We can't just make weight loss happen just because we want it to. We can, however, control our behaviors. We can focus on what we can control, and that, in the end, will deliver real results. So let's set our outcome goal. Let's say we want to lose 20 pounds by the end of the year. Now let's set our behavior goals, those goals that will get us to the desired outcome. In this example, what would be some good behavior goals to set? Well, for one, I'm going to exercise three times a week at the gym and walk three other days per week. I'm going to eat protein with every meal and veggies as well. I'm going to cut out the mindless snacking, especially in the evenings. I'm going to meal prep, prepare wholesome meals each and every Sunday so I don't have to worry about it during the week. Now, by focusing on doing those behavior goals, those results, they'll come if you do them day after day. And if you slip up, don't let it derail you. Wipe the slate clean and start again today. Each day is a new day. Mastering the skill of focusing on new behaviors instead of outcomes, that's the key to getting real and lasting results.